Hi, my name is Eric Enga. I'm the CEO and founder of Stone Temple Consulting. Uh, we're a general purpose internet marketing optimization firm that does pay-per-click, uh, SEO, uh, uh, social media, and various other things to help uh, people increase their uh, sales and uh, traffic uh, from search. I'm here today with Cindy Crum. Hi, Cindy. Hi. Uh, can you give us a little background on yourself? So I'm the CEO and founder of a company called Mobile Moxie based in Denver, Colorado. We offer mobile marketing consulting and mobile SEO consulting as well as uh, we have a cutting edge set of mobile marketing and mobile SEO tools available on, on the site. Awesome. Um, so the first thing I wanted to ask you about, it was uh, pretty interesting news when uh, Google came out uh, uh, recently, I think it was December of last year if I remember right, with their okay. announcement of... Uh, uh, they're having a smartphone version of uh, Googlebot Mobile. Right. So previously, Google only had um, really uh, a desktop bot and then a WAP um, bot that would kind of uh, go and look at your site as if it was a WAP phone, so a really unsophisticated phone. Um, and now, uh, since December, they've launched this new smartphone bot, um, which kind of emulates an iPhone 4. Um, so it's looking for smartphone-friendly pages, and it's especially looking for redirects between desktop pages and mobile pages. Well, that's, uh, that was a pretty big development, and I think uh, uh, there's been a lot of discussion uh, around the time of that announcement and since then about whether the same URL strategy for mobile SEO versus having a mobile uh, subdomain were the best ways to go. Yeah, and, and and that's been um, there has been a lot of debate on since the beginning, since the early days of mobile. Um, when when it was really early days of mobile, we had these really unsophisticated phones that were kind of like early internet browsers, and they could only see text and and not a lot of images, and definitely no motion or JavaScript or anything. And so it made a lot of sense to have a separate mobile page that was just text, um, especially with the slower networks. But now networks have gotten faster. Um, and phone browsers have gotten better, and so we have this situation where some mobile developers really want to have a mobile-specific experience, and other mobile developers really don't want to be bothered with two different URLs or two different versions of a page. They just want to make the desktop page work on a mobile phone. So, so it's an ongoing debate, and um, it, it has implications for SEO because, as we know, you know, consolidating your URLs um, has benefit, right? You can keep all your links and all your history if you use the desktop URL for mobile, and that's great. But with this new smartphone bot, um, it's actually passing the value of the desktop page to the associated mobile page, or at least that's what they say. Um, so that means that if you want to have a mobile-specific experience um, on an M dot subdomain or even an M dot subdirect or an M subdirectory. Um, you totally can. At least that's the point that they're uh, they're saying with this new smartphone bot. Yeah, and have they uh, indicated any preference as to which they prefer? Well, so at SMX Advance, Pierre Farr from Google was on stage, and he said, and, and I think in the official announcements they say um, that they have a preference for a one URL solution. And Bing has come out and said this as well. But that makes complete sense. That's really not a surprise to anyone who knows how search engines work, because search engines um, aren't limitless. They have a limited amount of um, bot time that they can associate with your site, and they have a limited amount of server space that they can use for your site. So when you duplicate everything on your site, or a majority of your site, you're doubling the effort that the search engine has to do to index it properly. So their preference um, for a one URL strategy is, is basically a preference uh, for you conserving their resources. So uh, one of the things uh, I think uh, Pierre Farr also talked about at uh, SMX Advanced was uh, rel canonical and rel alternate. Right. So in addition to having this new smartphone bot that helps associate a mobile page with a desktop page using a redirect, Google has um, kind of announced an official way in the code uh, to, to join the two pages. So normally you have the user agent detection redirection that happens on the server where when a mobile phone requests a desktop page, 
uh, the server says, hey, wait a minute, you're requesting a desktop page, but you're on a mobile phone, I bet you want this page, and they send you to the mobile version of the page. Um, but now you can, you can also um, affiliate the two pages in the code. Um, so what you do is you put a rel canonical from the desktop version of the page to the mobile, or excuse me, from the mobile version of the page to the desktop version of the page, and then you do a rel alternate from the desktop version of the page linking to any um, other iterative versions of the page. So let's say you have a WAP version of the page and a smartphone version of the page and a tablet version of the page. Um, you could link to all of those from your desktop with the rel alternate. And that tells Google to go crawl and index those as alternate versions of the page. Yeah, OK. So, so rel canonical has been really useful for SEOs in some ways, but in some ways it's, it's kind of a mixed blessing uh, because um, sometimes when you use a rel canonical to join two pages, what you're saying is index that page, don't necessarily index or rank this page. And so you're essentially giving Google permission to uh, let your mobile page fall out of the index or fall into a lower priority. Um, and, and that's risky. Um, and so what I'm telling people is to approach this recommendation cautiously because Google um, doesn't usually recommend things that are not in its best interest, um, but they will recommend things that might not be in your best interest. So I think the rel alternate tag is a great way to notify um, Google and say, hey, pass on the value of this page to these other versions of the page. But I would say um, don't just rel canonical your entire mobile site to your entire desktop site right away without testing it. Um, do it uh, progressively and test it and see if you like the results uh, to make sure that this is a recommendation that's right for you. So there's also an issue with uh, different use cases uh, too, right? You might have a different uh, um, a page that you want for your mobile experience that you don't want for your desktop experience. Right, exactly. Um, there are some websites that match up really well with their mobile sites and they have a one-to-one -one page ra ratio where this kind of arrangement will work. But there are other mobile sites that, that really don't match up to their desktop counterparts because they have such a different use case um, and they really consolidate the site and they perhaps do a bunch of things that would take separate pages on the desktop site but all on one page on the mobile site or vice versa. Um, so, so that makes this, this new suggestion from Google difficult for, for some companies to implement um, because they haven't given a lot of uh, instructions for how to handle situations like that. Well, great. Thanks for joining us today, Cindy. I think uh, this was a good discussion. Absolutely. Thanks so much.